Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008.
I am Elska. I am from Minneapolis, born and raised in Duluth, Minnesota, but I've been living in Minneapolis for the last decade or so. And over the last few years, I've really gotten into songwriting and just recently released my debut record, On the Shoulders of Giants. I've been performing for the better part of the last six or seven years. And then about five years ago, I met my songwriting partner, Owen Sartori, and we started writing in about 2018. And it was a slow, kind of steady process as we began writing this last record. But until I met him, I hadn't really ventured out on writing on my own. I had a lot that I wanted to say, but I stuck a lot with cover songs that meant something to me. And beginning the writing process with him allowed me to say more personally the, the messages that I wanted to get out there. she hears it you're fine you're fine you're fine you're fine not how she feels it we say just get over it just get over it just get over it not your fault not your fault not your fault not your fault not how she hears it is not how she feels it just get over it just get over it open caring eyes open soul and mind a heart in division something's missing when no words prevail when our wisdom fails abandon the system Stop talking, listen You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong That's how she hears it You're no good, you're no good, you're no good, you're no good That's how she feels it So Elska is an old Norse word that means love. And writing music from a very personal place is a very vulnerable thing. And I wanted to use a name that feels close to who I am, both in meaning and in the way that it sounds, but also creates uh, space for something that's not just me personally. These messages are mostly from my perspective, but they're subject matter that affects all of us. Full was the hourglass 
it's not long ago true like her body not long ago lines in her eyes never show never show The album is called On the Shoulders of Giants, and each of the songs has something to do with a political or social issue that means something to me. There's a lot of mental health components, but woven throughout the record are relevant issues that I felt compelled to sing about. I used to work in education, actually. I was a special education assistant, and that work was very rewarding, but it was very challenging, and I did not find time for music. 
So when I left that world where I hoped that I was helping on a daily basis, I made a commitment to myself that if I was going to be leaving work where I was interacting with people that regularly, that if I chose music, I was going to have to do it in such a way that I was hoping to make an impact on people's lives with regard to the issues that we see plaguing our society. So I wouldn't get cold We were 18 Because we were women We weren't really human Or so we were told So we marched in search of hope And we fought the battle so Nobody else would have to know What we know Carol became one there when it wasn't allowed we had to hide like we'd committed a crime dear I wanted to show couldn't say it out loud So we marched in search of hope And we fought the battle so Nobody else would have to know what we I still fight like you're near me And I've got to go Sometimes lyrics come first, sometimes music comes first, but it all kind of starts with a feeling. Sometimes themes will come first and then we create musical soundscapes based on those things and then melodies will sometimes reveal themselves in that process. All I know is that we, we have to prioritize the time. We have to make time for creation. I have a lot <laughs> that I want to say, and I'll end up kind of getting out a bunch of ideas and feelings, and Owen has been a really good sounding board and kind of helps take a lot of the, sometimes it seems like to me, the nonsense that comes out of my mouth, and he, he figures out a beautiful way to craft the message and to communicate it in a way that people will resonate and understand. If I could just find a hummingbird, I bet I'd make him stay. 
just too fast, too colorful, too bad they don't remain in the same place. Oh, oh my, check out that hummingbird. He can't make up his mind, cause he's not like any other bird. Cause just when he decides he'll fly off to another one, then come back to the other one. I think I might want a hummingbird, and I bet I'll make him mine. A rose ain't red enough to keep him around, and the wilder flowers just let anyone in to spread out. Seems like everybody's trying to lure him away If he'd get close enough I bet I'd make him stay Here comes that hummingbird And I know what's on his mind He's just trying to wet that beak of his In every flower he finds He'll fly off to another one Then come back to the other one I don't know why I want that hummingbird but I'm gonna make him mine. A rose ain't red enough to keep him around. And the wilder flowers just let anyone in to spread out. Seems like everybody's trying to lure him away. But if he knew how sweet I am, I bet I'd make him stay. We did a lot of the final steps of the production without being able to perform and engage with people. And a lot of the promotion for the record happened inside a screen. And so now being able to actually interact with people and engage with people has just, oh, it's just, it's been the best. And, and that's my favorite part about making music is the experience with other people. My sister's a giant at five foot three. Told to stay quiet, decided to speak. Cast a pariah, girl, you shouldn't be. But she did it for her and she did it for me. My sister's a giant at five foot nine. A sword and a shield and a drawer of lines. I can still feel his touch and it burns like an eye. She laid him out on his back as she covered mine. place 
Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008.